All right. In this second video, I would like to show you the materials that you need for the quantitative interpretation of a vertical electrical sounding data. That's VES data, one D resistivity data. After acquisition of this data from the feed, in the last video I showed you how to qualitatively interpret its feed curves. That's the type of curves you expect to see on the feed. And there are model curves you will see on the feed. So I want to introduce you to the materials you use or you need for the quantitative interpretation of VES data. That's one day. Remember, this is one day. The way you interpret 2D resistivity data is actually different from this. All right, so the first thing you need is a trace, tracing paper or what we call a transparent paper. You can see. You are all familiar with what a tracing paper is. You need a tracing paper. I've already attached this to something. That is why it's there. So you need a tracing paper. Then you need what is called a log log graph. A log log graph. You can see that is what is here. This is the log log graph. Yes. So in the log log graph, you have your y axis in logarithmic format or scale. And you also have your X axis in the rhythmic format or scale. So, this is where you plot the resistivity data, the VES data you acquire from the feed. This is where you plot it. You plot it on a log log graph. Okay. And the next set of, of material you need is what is called master curves. There are different types of master curves, but this is a type that we are going to be using for this. Uh, practice it is actually by someone and it was produced around 1968 or thereabout so it's for a two-layer case when we say two-layer case we're talking about two resistivity layers two layers as you can see the row one and row two so for this case the rest of this master curve shows or is for interpreting or matching or curve matching ascending resistivity data you can see the resistivity here these are this this on the y axis what we are having is the ratio of resistivity of the first layer to that of the second layer and what we are having on the x axis is a b over two that is the distance the separation of the current divided by two okay so you are seeing that all the curves here are what ascending so you use this press this um, master curve this ascending master curve in this practice to curve match ascending resistivity data. Ascending resistivity data. So this is the ascending master curve. We also have what we call the descending master curve. The descending master curve, unlike the previous one I showed you, the descending master curve shows model resistivity curves that are descending. You can see they are descending. This is the origin here. I can see the model curves are descending. So you use this master curves to what? To curve match descending. When the resistivity is going down, it's reducing resistivity data. Okay. Now, because we want to get the thickness, we want to go further than getting more than the resistivity values. And to curve match our data, we also want to get the thickness of, of our layers. So that is where auxiliary curves comes in. So what I want to show you now are auxiliary curves. The auxiliary curves comes in when we are dealing with more than two layers. That is, we are dealing with three layers or more. And that is exactly what we experience in the feed. We are just not going to map or delineate just two layers. We can have more than two layers on the feed. So that is where the master curves come in. We need to get the thicknesses of the layers, except the last layer. So we have two types of auxiliary curves. We have the what is called the uh, this is HA. Remember, I, I showed you a curve earlier from the feed curves I showed you on my laptop earlier of the HA. Now this is H and this is A, right? Remember? Good. So when you have HA or you have H 
or a curve in your data. This is the uh, auxiliary curve you are going to use to interpret. I will, I'm going to show you how you are going to do that to get the thickness. So you need the H A curve. Then on the other hand, if you are working with KQ, KQ that's descending, both are descending. Then you are going to use this auxiliary curve. This KQ auxiliary curve to interpret the KQ curve. That is to get the thicknesses of the layers, except the last layer. So I have these curves. I have the soft copy, soft copies of these curves, and I'm going to send it to you to print it. I just wanted to introduce it to you so that you see the materials you need for the quantitative interpretation of resistivity data. Thank you.